the main thing tonight is I've been working for the last few weeks on doing um, this one shot in my film and tonight I'm going to keep working on it and hopefully finish the composite. If you want to check out uh, some of my other stuff uh, over on my YouTube channel, uh, which is down below, you can see uh, some of the other um, uh, live streams I've done uh, on YouTube. I'm trying Twitch for the first time. So let's uh, get started. All right. So yeah, so here's the shot. Um, let me uh, see if I can maneuver. off this bar for a minute. Alright, All right, so here is what was done last week. Let's uh, check against it. So here, let me play back the shot. So it looks a little weird right now because it's in OpenGL mode. Um, when I turn off the OpenGL mode and put it into bitmap mode, you can kind of see what the finished frame looks like. So it's a bit more interesting than what I had before. Whereas um, now what I want to do is I want to uh, check uh, the shot. Um, I'm trying to remember where I left off at. Um, Alright, let me go back to OpenGL mode and scrub through it. So last week, one of the things I was doing was fixing this uh, drop shadow that's tracking along with her. Um, Alright, that's kind of a nasty pop. So, let's deal with that. So, the shadow um, on this is kind of interesting. Uh, it's a, a it's a deformer, which means that um, it can be animated. And um, what I can do is go down to the actual layer it's on. Actually, I'll go up. Yeah, right here. This is where the animation is, and this glitch happens here. So it's kind of a bit of a jump, so what I think I may do is try to see if I can get it in between here. Yeah. Let's see if I can move in between to... That's a bit better. I think I may do the same here. So all I'm doing is just replacing the keys I already made with keys that are less abrupt. should smooth it out a little bit yeah that helps so yeah you can see it's kind of breaking off here uh, that's because I am uh, not seeing with the crop this is the crop so you can see that actually looks fine all right so let's disable this mode disappear so one of the next things I have to do is she has a shadow on her. Um, right now, you can't see the shadow. Uh, that's because I have it hidden. At least that's what I remember I did. So this is the node editor. Um, Also, see if I can try and set up my Instagram feed. This also usually that gets a few more people. Oh man, my 
phone battery is super low. Well, I guess I'll do it for a few minutes. Put this right here. Alright, let's see if this live feed actually stays up this time because I'm playing music and that may end up killing the live feed. Alright, I don't think that's in the way of my camera, that's good. Alright, all set. Alright, so say shadow back on this. Alright, there's the shadow. Switch it back to the GL. So there's the deformer for the shadow. So now I need to go back through this animation and make sure the shadow is where I want it. And it probably isn't where I want it. just going to delete all of this and start over. Yeah, just going to start over. Boom, gone. If you want to see a bit better uh, what I'm doing, I'm actually uh, also live on Twitch right now. As a new thing, I've been doing the uh, doing YouTube for the last month, but figured I'd try this instead. Up, oh, didn't do this right. You always have to collapse all your layer to actually get it to. Uh, completely affect everything under it. Alright, so I don't need this panel anymore since I'm more animating at this point. So if I can just modify this a little better. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of spline out where I want the shadow at key moments and then go back and uh, let it tween itself and then just correct the tween.
Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. Set a hard key here. Right now it's just stepped. And the uh, result of what this should look like is going to be. Um, sorry, let me get to. No, it's 100%. Get to view. See what I'm doing is just adding a little bit of shadow on the edge right here. Hello. forward. So I kind of want the bottom of her leg to be in shadow and I want this part up here to be in shadow and her arm Keep shadow. It'd be nice if her head had a little bit as well. Light's kind of right here. You can check it. I guess it's more back here. It's just a hint of a shadow. It's not like too accurate. The idea is kind of trying to figure out a way to do this fast. like to do is to try to get a shadow on the, oops, on the other side of the leg. I think what I might do is bring some of this down and around. So I'm going to try to uh, spline out these two pieces. Uh, I need to go to OpenGL mode so I can see what's going on. Alright, that looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to set this to step. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. Out of the town, am I as loud as you want it now? 
Try to spawn this part is being distracted by internet stuff. Alright, so the flip around here is a little weird. So I'm going to create another key here and then try to control this a little bit. So it's kind of better, but not. So this weird stuff going on in here, it's because of the uh, deformer kind of overlapping itself. So you need to kind of fix that crap. So that's kind of working for me. The only problem is this end of it. So basically, I just want to clean this up. It would be nice if there was shadow right here, but I may just not even deal with it. Except the fact that the near leg is completely in shadow. Right, yes, this is what I was talking about the overlap. Alright. I just like to monkey this a little bit. through here and mark the keyframes and convert the whole lot into stop motion. That'll work. Yeah, it, it is a ton of work. It takes forever. This is now actually my probably eighth year on it.
Yeah, this is a. Uh, I'm streaming actually on Twitch and on Instagram. But um, the question was, is this a personal project? Yeah, it's a personal project. I've been working on it for a while. Um, I guess it's, it's something I wrote with my sister, who's actually on here too, Emma. Uh, she co-wrote it with me and a long time ago, and it's taken me forever to finish. And I've actually ended up reworking the shot so many times at this point, because I've just not been happy with it. frame here. So if I switch this um, mode to uh, just this mode, I can grab just the animation frame. Go here. Paste. I want to be stop motion again. And the benefit of that is now I can slightly less messy spline. So one thing I also gotta keep an eye on is the lights that she's going through. Yeah, she's actually going into light right here. <laughs> yeah, it's keyframing, it takes a lot. At tie a point, I was going to puppet it, which is using these splines, but I ended up um, going away from it because I wasn't super happy with how, um, how it was. How it was. It's because it gets very. Um, I don't know. It just gets over corporatized. That's why I kind of like playing with the uh, with hand working it. All right. So I want to get her out of the shadow now, or at least her lower body, since she's kind of in the light. And then over here. Just check to see where the light is. Yeah, she's fully out of light at this point. Probably even back here. Actually, this frame might even work over here. And then... Yeah, it's one thing you can do in the newer. So what I'm looking for is this box here. It's a new edition. Let me go back to OpenGL mode. It's getting kind of confusing.
still just trying to lock in these keys. Takes a minute. over. Do one more. So I'm getting all these splines in here because I could probably disable the uh, feature, but eh, I don't feel like it. So it's pretty basic. So like this, I'm just gonna keyframe it. Same with these, wrong place. Scoop them over a little bit. Put that on solid keyframes. Maybe these two. Yeah, this all feels good. Though I think I may easy use this one a little bit.
Alright, so like, that is not super good. So, this frame I definitely have to fix. So, I don't know how I missed that. Now I can do this off watch. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. So now we can watch back and see what works. Winston, it's not good. I'm the only one left. Alright, so that looks pretty good. So... I think that's it. I think I'm just gonna do a quick test. So now what I need to do is to render the shot now. Winston, it's not good. I'm the only one left. Alright, so this one I'm gonna name version 10. This. So the way you export in um, Harmony is you actually create a write node. I mean, there's multiple ways, but one of the ways you do it is you create a write node. Oh uh, wait, why don't I have this liner layer? Yeah, let's see what that does. And now I do it like this. Oh, that's not the actual, that's the rough. Alright, so this right node here, so last version was 9, this one will be version 10. And I need to, now for this movie, I need to pick the type, I'm going to do animation. Turn on fast start, that's not needed. Sound, I'm going to press fine. And then uh, save where I'm at. And then I'm going to do a render. New file, export, render right nodes. Winston, it's not good. I'm the only one left. Oh, I remember I had to do some fixes with her mouth, too. Winston, it's not good. I'm the only one left. Oh, and then there's a cheek issue again. Went over what that was last week. Alright, let's fix the cheeks quickly. Is that about? Winston, it's not good. I'm the only one left. left. Alright, it's around the zoom. So I can see the camera right here. This is where the zoom is. Fix the mouth issue too. Okay. 
Oh, there it is. Alright. So this is what I'm talking about. It's relatively easy to fix. <clears throat> A little easier to fix in the OpenGL mode without the shadow on it. So I'm going to go find the shadow. Disable it. Both shadows. And then I need to find her. Actually, I'll put them enabled. What I'm going to do is instead, is I'm going to do lightbox mode where I can move her up. So now I can try to find her layer, which I believe is called line. Yeah, it's called line. I'm going to go to the drawing mode. You can see what happened here. X. Fill in that hole and then we'll paste it back. I'm not really sure why there isn't one on the other side. So I'm just going to paste another one over here as well. Go back to camera mode, disable. That blue line is the uh, stroke showing you where stuff is. I swear I thought I fixed this stuff last week. Right now, I'm just fixing the blush so it doesn't have that weird line on it. Alright, so now I want to go in and I want to fix the mouth. So, when I'm talking about the mouth, Exactly, have my Cintiq hooked up, so I'm gonna kind of do this manually. All right, yeah, it's not there. So let's just go through it. Right, so that's her mouth open. So. This with a brush, but it kind of big. Let's see if I can do it with a cutter. And then, um, it's like that. So, yep, that worked. Drawing with a mouse, it's horrible, but I really don't feel like firing up the Cintiq tonight. I'm going to do two frames with teeth. Actually, this should probably be mouth. Eh. Yeah, maybe 
Fisch PC. Yeah, that makes more sense. So this top part is T. teeth this is maybe some teeth I'm trying to do it all mouth there's a the glitch there I think this is a good way for me to get carpal tunnel. I think I got it. So I'm actually going to just overwrite the old one. And I can simply do that by exporting under write nodes. Same file. Winston, it's not good. I'm the only one left. Winston, it's not good. I'm the only one left. Winston, it's not good. I'm the only one left. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Alright, so I think this shot is done.